If you want to play games on a computer in the lounge room and you don't have a desk, you might want to look at the Corsair Lapdog. I've played Quake for over 17 years and I struggled playing on this. I'll explain why later, but for now, I think this would be best for casual gaming that doesn't move the mouse quickly. As for the details, it's about 73 by 25.5 centimeters, able to fit a Corsair K65 or K70 keyboard, with a 28 by 25 centimeter mouse pad on the right. That's a good size, and the cushion underneath is fairly comfortable. It has Corsair's usual metal finish, adding to its strength. The base cushion part is holding the top in place with magnets, and there are two USB 3.0 ports inside for your mouse and keyboard, and two on the outside for whatever you want. The good news is that you can plug it in with just USB for your mouse and keyboard, meaning you don't need to connect the power to it. If you want the two extras on the outside, you will need to plug the power in as well. Assembly is easy enough, simply use the Allen key inside to undo all of the top, place the keyboard in, and well, read the instructions, they're very basic and not worth going over in a video. You get some cable ties and screws too, but I just use the small ones. Plenty of room in there for the cables, so I'm not worried. All fine so far, and now we get to the price of it. I won't give exact figures, because they will change. But let's just say I'd rather buy a top-of-the-line wireless gaming mouse, a cloth pad for about $10, and then just put it on a $20 lap desk. Add $30 on a wireless keyboard, total of about $220. That way, when I sit on the couch, I don't need extra pillows to hold my elbows up, and I can sit wherever I like. I can be on the side quite comfortably, in the middle, on the floor, wherever. Because it'd be a wireless keyboard, I could just put it on my lap, right next to me, wherever I wanted. The lap desk would only be for the mouse pad and the mouse. It's a more versatile setup, easier to manage, and you don't have to worry about a giant hard rubber cable. That's just my opinion, of course. I'm just having a bit of trouble understanding the thought behind this kind of product. The good points would be that it keeps the mouse and keyboard level, feels like it's fairly high quality, it's well made. It has a little opening for the mouse cable, and that's a nice touch, and some ledges to catch the mouse if it slides backward or to the right side. But they also get in the way when you're doing flicks. The magnets can come apart when awkwardly moving it around, and they decided to make the cushion on the base go to the shape of your legs. Sort of, but not really. I don't know why they didn't just make it a flat cushion, so at least when you put it on a coffee table, it wouldn't rock. Your legs are in contact with minimal surface area anyway, just angled, so why not make it entirely flat? You could just take the base off, but then it's not padded. And as for the extra USB ports, cool, but unnecessary, just get a wireless headset. Maybe I don't understand this product, I just can't find a reason to recommend it when it's over $100. Maybe 70 so I hope that helps you with your decision, and I hope that Corsair can benefit from some of what I've said as well. I could go into more details about things that should be changed, but instead I'll just say this. Imagine you've had a hard day at work, you go sit in front of the TV, exhausted. You want to play some games. Based on how you're sitting in that moment, where would you want your mouse and keyboard? And what kind of product would you need to make that possible? Check the description for all the usual links, subscribe for more reviews and gaming videos, like this one, and I'll catch you in the next.